What are we discussing today? Cerebral vascular accidents. Most people don't understand what you just said. Cerebral. Speed wasn't the problem. Cerebral vascular. Volume wasn't the problem either. Then what's the problem? My face. That's what she said. Oh, hurt. <laughs> Be serious. Hurry up. I thought you said speed wasn't the problem. Ooh, in your face! What are we discussing today in simple language? Let's talk about stroke. Howdy, folks! Welcome to our channel. I am Pushy. I'm Mushy. And we're the Pushy Mushy. Mushy. Yeah. Serious. So, be serious is actually a gram-positive bacillus that has the potential to cause food poison. Seriously. So. Seriously, we are here to provide our views of our current society from an Asian perspective. Now, we do not represent all Asians, and we certainly are not the gold standard for Asian opinion. What we are trying to do um, is to provide you with a taste of how certain Asians feel about our current society and how we have come to adapt to it. Uh, we will do our best to combine facts with humor, um, but if we do make mistakes, please let us know and we will do our best to correct. What we're also hoping to do is provide you with some laughter at times, some guidance at times, some inspirations at times, and hopefully make your days go by a little easier. Please like or dislike, hopefully not dislike, subscribe, comment, share, and press that bell icon. Great! So, what is a stroke? A stroke is basically brain damage. Uh, caused by interruption of blood supply within the brain. There are two types of stroke. The first type is uh, ischemic stroke, which is caused by a lack of blood flow, such as by blood clots in the brain, blood clot that has migrated to the brain from elsewhere, or uh, low blood pressure. Um, the second type is a hemorrhagic stroke, uh, which is caused by brain hemorrhage, or basically brain bleed, or bleeding within the brain. Both? Sounds serious. They are. Um, strokes are medical emergencies that need to be managed by doctors immediately. Is one more serious than the other? Uh, both are extremely serious, um, but hemorrhagic strokes are generally, uh, they have uh, worse outcome than ischemic strokes. So how do people differentiate between the two types of strokes? They can be indistinguishable. Um, there are subtle um, clinical findings that doctors can uh, pay attention to in order to hypothesize uh, which type of stroke a patient has. But I think most doctors, if not all, um, would use imaging studies to differentiate between the two. So why did you start this topic by explaining the two types of strokes? Um, to show off. Did you go to med school just so you can show off? My dad said that was one of the purposes. No, he did not. Wait, how do you know? Because I know him. Then you clearly don't. I call your bluff. I bet the whole potential of this channel's future success. Screw this. That's, uh, that's too much of a bet. You win. My dad never said that. See? Okay. I explained the two types of strokes in the beginning of uh, this video because I, I, I didn't know where else to fit them in the video. I have also heard about mini strokes. Do you know what I'm talking about? Of course. What do I not know? Be humble. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, the definition of mini strokes, or also known as TIA, which stands for uh, transient ischemic attacks, um, can be... Uh, sort of complicated, um, with details somewhat debatable uh, by experts. Um, but the, uh, the general consensus is that um, the symptoms resolve within 24 hours and that brain imaging doesn't show uh, infarction or uh, doesn't show stroke. Hmm. So that would be the type of stroke you would pick if you had to have a stroke. I mean, uh, if I had to pick a stroke to have, yes. I would pick that because I know for TIA, I know I am going to recover fully. Okay. So when should people be worried about someone having a stroke? Uh, this is a great question. Um, 
you have to think fast. How fast? Why were you gonna hit me? I don't know. Um, <laughs> I feel like I want to hit you. <laughs> like lightning fast. <laughs> Shouldn't we start over again? No, I think that was great. <laughs> no, I think we should start over. Like lightning fast. You think I'm clueless? I watch TV shows, and I don't ever forget I was right next to you when you studied for all those medical school exams. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Okay, so think fast. Fast is uh is basically an acronym. F stands for uh, facial drooping. Um, A stands for arm weakness. Uh, S stands for speech difficulties, and T stands for time. Please demonstrate facial drooping. If I were to smile right now, it's like this. That looked creepy. Um, for facial drooping, for example, if I, you know, I'm gonna do my best. It, it, if I do left facial drooping, it is mm -hmm. like this. Hmm. So the left side doesn't move. Okay. Please demonstrate arm weakness. Okay. So please demonstrate speech difficulty. Please demonstrate time. Time is not demonstrable. I was just following instructions. So why do we have to think about time? Uh, because time is super crucial. Studies have shown that potential stroke therapies given within four and a half hours uh, of symptom onset uh, lead to better outcomes. Um, in fact, every minute counts um, in this particular scenario. Therefore, pay special attention to uh, time of symptom onset. Hmm. So if someone suspects someone having a stroke, what should they do? Immediately head to the hospital or call 911. Uh, don't ever, ever, ever wait. Um, it doesn't matter if you speak English or not. It doesn't matter if you have insurance or not. It doesn't matter if you have money or not. And trust me, uh, coming from an Asian guy, uh, when I say it doesn't matter if you have money or not, uh, it means we're talking about something super serious. Anyway, uh, head to the hospital immediately because time will be your only friend at that moment. No one else. What happens after going to the hospital? I will say at that point, let the hospital staff do their job. If the hospital cannot manage strokes, uh, they will transfer the patient out um, after making sure the patient is medically stable. Um, if stroke is manageable at the, uh, the facility, there is going to be a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, a boatload of tests and imaging studies um, to run in addition to getting neurology on board. Do stroke patients always require rehab after discharge? Uh, excluding mini strokes. Um, it really depends on how functional the patient is um, uh, after having a stroke. If he or she is too weak to move around or if it is unsafe for him or her to live alone, rehab is indicated so the patient can hopefully eventually return to his or her prior living condition without safety concerns. So how do people prevent or minimize the chance of having a stroke? Without getting into primary versus secondary versus tertiary prevention for all of you crazy smart people out there, uh, I'm going to go over the following seven known modifiable risk factors for cardiovascular disease, which means heart and blood vessel problems, including strokes. So number one uh, is blood pressure. Number two is cholesterol. Number three is high blood sugar or diabetes if you are diagnosed with it. Number four is uh, smoking. Number five is overweight and obesity. Number six is unhealthy diet. And number seven is physical inactivity. So you mentioned modifiable. Does that mean there are unmodifiable ones? Yes, such as age, race, sex, family history, and genetics. Um, but the bottom line is that um, these are factors that we cannot change. So let's focus on what we actually can do to improve our health. And no, gender reassignment surgery is not considered uh, an option here in this case. And no, this is not a joke. And for all of you guys who actually think that this is a joke or that's an option, if you wear this water bottle,
So how do we modify the modifiable risk factors? If you have some medical background, um, I think these risk factors are generally fairly uh, self-explanatory. However, if you don't, which is completely fine, uh, I would like uh, to stress the importance of working with your primary care doctor and those people uh, uh, potentially recommended by your primary care doctor, such as dietitians, physical therapists, diabetic educators, and so forth. Any last advice to the viewers? Uh, if you, uh, your loved ones, uh, your family, or, or whoever you care about have signs and symptoms of a stroke, um, seek medical attention immediately. Try to recall the time of symptom onset and leave the rest to the experts. Meanwhile, let's try to live as healthy as possible. We're, We're the, the Pushy Mushy. mushy. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.